For me, art is like a little bit riding a bike. I think you sort of fall off and you just got to get straight back on it, which is exactly what happened to me last week. I fell off my bike and I'm going to get straight back on it because that is me falling off my bike. Just to recap last week's video, I tried to go abstract and I got sort of carried away with the composition. In my head, I saw something different. I was trying to work on like some little cityscape down here. And I wasn't really thinking about the overall composition of the piece, I don't think, and what I was trying to achieve. And I guess that's one of the hardest things is you just don't know what avenue to go down sometimes. And you have, you've got this great big canvas in front of you and you think, I just can't see the end painting in my head. But as I say, it is like falling off your bike and you just got to get straight back on with it. Now it's interesting because I come across some artists that when they don't like their pieces of work, they paint over their pieces of work. For me, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep the ones that I don't like. It's part of your art journey. You only sort of get from A to B by going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. But as long as you're progressing upwards over time, you're heading in the right direction. But yeah, you're always going to have those dips. You're always going to have that painter's block, which I think this was proper painter's block. I'm hoping this week's painting, I won't get painter's block. I'm going to go back to the seascape. I'm going to add texture into the bottom half of this seascape to um, just to carry on the textured look because I did actually like working with the texture side of things. So go grab a drink, sit back, relax, watch this one and I hope you enjoy it. Right, here we go. I mixed up some tile adhesive and got a little bit of color in there, blue, green, gray, just to sort of give it that base color. And I'm going to work on a bit of a textured section down at the bottom. I'm going to keep my sky pretty clear, I think. But yeah, we're just going to sort of come down uh, with in this bottom section. Oh, what's your soul saying? Oh, is your world changing? Oh, what's your soul saying? I've applied the texture down the bottom. I haven't gone too thick. Uh, maybe it's a little bit thick there. I'm just gonna add, this is gonna be my horizon line. And I'm just gonna add in um, just on that horizon line, just a little bit of texture. And then I'm gonna peel away the tape. I don't want this too thick up here. It's just to give it a bit of texture on the horizon. That should do, that should do for the textured section. I'm gonna peel away the tape and then we're gonna let that dry, come back, paint over the top. So don't you go anywhere. I'm already more excited about this piece than last week. I already can sort of see how this one's gonna turn out. By putting in that piece of tape on that horizon line with the texture, I think it's gonna really make this piece come alive and the deep texture at the bottom, I think it's gonna be really good. So the key to working with tile adhesive, you have really got to sort of get this stretched onto a canvas and then you wanna seal it as well. You wanna keep all of that tile adhesive in place basically. So yeah, you wanna go across with it with like a, a real thick varnish to keep everything adhered in place. Right, let's let that dry and we come back and we start painting over the top of it. Don't go anywhere. That's completely dried overnight. Now I am a little bit optimistic about this cracking. I'm obviously gonna finish this piece and get it stretched onto a canvas, but I'm worried about when it wraps around the canvas, sort of crack marks appearing on the, on the edges. So I'll go through all the heartache for you at home to learn about this, but I'm hoping it will, it will keep intact and then I can varnish it and sort of embed all of the deep textures into the canvas. 
that's the plan anyway. Right, let's get going. I'm going to get some paint onto the canvas and try and finish this in one session. On the palette, we have a load of white, blue, with a little bit of silver in there, and flow of troll and some gloss medium. I'm just going to get that on there. that flow of troll really helped spread the paint. If that was just normal acrylic paint, I would never have been able to have pushed that paint all the way across that canvas. Just as we get closer to the bottom, we just sort of add more white into the mix. Coming down to that horizon line, I'm just going in with white paint over the top of that horizon. I'm angling the paintbrush now. The further down I get, just at more of an angle. So yeah, just some thick white, no flower troll in this. I just want to get this paint sitting on top of the canvas. <clears throat> There's something that I've never done before is dabbing the paintbrush on with the white paint just to create texture as well. I'm gonna make it a little bit blue by adding some primary blue in there. Okay, this is a really, really nice color and I just want this color to sort of be quite thin. Yeah, that's a really, really good contrast against that blue sky. Okay, that's, that's nice. I'm now gonna go a little bit lighter in this sort of section here. Remember, step back, have a look at the composition, and then straight back into it. Sort of see where you're gonna put your paint. By adding that initial tile adhesive, it's already created those deep textures, so I don't know whether the camera can pick up on it, but I'll show you at the very end. And once we sort of add some white over the top of them to highlight them, they really pop. Just going to add a little bit more interest now into this next section. So I'm just going to introduce a little bit of yellow into that blue mix. And you start to get that sort of real nice sea turquoisey colour. So that goes in here. Feed some of that up in the top section as well, just adding 
part of that colour in there. Okay, I'm now going to mix a little bit of this buff titanium into the mix. Again, it's straight into the same canvas, in with that green, bluey green colour, and that's coming right down there. So below that section, we've got some of that buff titanium, some burnt umber, some Payne's grey, and some of that dark blue. And I'm just gonna gently mix that into already this pre-mixed palette. Now for the fun part, I've got a clean brush and I'm gonna use that heavy body silver that I've used in some of my previous videos. It's by Art Discount, you can see that there. It's available in the UK, I'm not too sure where you'd get it in America, if you can get it in America. Okay, so I want to add that into some of this heavy textured area, just to really highlight those textures. And I'm just gently touching over the top of where they are. So I'm all, almost trying to get the paintbrush to hit the raised tile adhesive of where it's on the canvas. It's a big old section there that I'm going in with. Again, I'm just stepping back. I'm looking where this can go in. And then I'm feeding it in. Maybe there's a big old reflection going on down here. And we're just gonna pull down in some places. All right, busting out some pure white. And exactly the same again. This time another clean brush. And I just wanna hit that area above. that silver, that silver hits. Let's give something new a try. So I've got this meter rule stick and I'm just gonna, every now and again, just put some white paint it's really heavy in the middle there. And then let's give this a little try. So just try and get it level to the horizon. Dab it on there. Instant waves. Let's try dabbing and then dragging. What's that look like? That's really cool. Don't forget if you're a woman and you've borrowed this off your husband or partner or even dad, you must, before he finds out, clean it off. Because I know if that was my dad and he and I left paint all over it, whoo, he would go absolutely mental. I'm just picking up on some of that white paint and I just want to get that 
in this cloud area as well again. It's going to add one more sort of level of detail in this horizon. I'm just picking up on a bit of paint. I'm just dragging that in. Sometimes I like to leave the horizon harsh and sometimes I like to blend it in. It's quite funny how much more confident I feel painting these type of seascapes, these abstract seascapes, as opposed to something completely abstract. I don't know why I just find this easy. Maybe it's the composition. composition. I know exactly where I'm heading with it. But yes, let's take a look. This is the finished piece behind me and some real interesting colour, interesting paint going on with this one. I love the different types of graduations in this one. The simple sky, those real thin waved lines that we created with that metal rule and the silver hitting over some of this um, foreground area. It's got some real deep texture from that tile adhesive. So yeah, once this is dry and fingers crossed for me, I'm going to mount this onto a canvas, stretch it. Hopefully it doesn't crack around the edges. It might crack and then completely varnish it because I just want to lock in all of those deep textures. So none of this knocks off in the future. So there you have it. You can do this yourself. Tile adhesive, paint, canvas on the wall and just have a go. Remember, just give it a go. The more you give it a go, the more you practice, the better you're going to become. And I hope you all have a fantastic week and I'll see you next week, Wednesday, remember, 8 p.m., new video coming out. But until then, have a great week and definitely, definitely, definitely get yourself painted.